everybody, Martika here with Martika J Makes. And if this is your first time joining, welcome. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so now. So as you can see, the title is for our beginners, you guys. I have taken the time to pull a few patterns out of my own stash to help those of you who may be thinking about learning how to sew, who may be sewing just starting as a beginner, uh, wanting to get like all of these fabulous patterns, but kind of at a loss for what to do um, because you may not have the skills yet or you may be a little nervous on what to get, but you wanna make something for yourself. So I have pulled about seven patterns out of my own stash that I feel is perfect for beginners. Now, I will um, just kind of show you the detail of these and why I think that these are great for beginners. You may like these patterns, you may not, but it'll give you an idea what to look for when you go pattern shopping for yourself. So um, just go ahead. If you want to take some notes, go ahead and do so. If you need to rewind this video, definitely do that. But um, feel free to share this video to others who, uh, who may be wanting to start start their uh, sewing journey uh, right now or even later. But these are just great to have in your stash. Even for me, um, I consider myself a more intermediate to advanced sewer. Uh, there are still a lot of things that I am learning, but uh, these easy patterns, I can tell you, we all, no matter what level you're on, we all have these in our stash because sometimes you just want to sew something up really, really quick. So I um, hope you enjoy this. I'm going to turn my camera around to another angle so that you can see all of the details uh, really, really well. And just let me know what you think in the comments. See you soon. Here is the first one. You have your quick sew patterns. And the quick sew brand, it is really, really, everything is easy to pretty much sew, uh, especially when it comes to garments in the quick sew pattern books. So this one is K4172, and it's just a really cute little simple sundress. You can do it in two different lengths. When you turn it over, you can look at your line drawings and you can see um, kind of what type of make it will be. What I like about this is that this shows that it does have pockets that you can put on your dress or leave off of your dress. Now, the fabrics that this one calls for, and that's something that you definitely want to look at, is designed for medium weight woven fabrics. So suggested fabrics are cotton blends, uh, denim, denim, linen, and crepe. So um, if you have other fabrics, I would think that this probably would work good with the gauze also. Um, you may have other fabrics that just kind of mimics the flow of these fabrics that you might want to use. And uh, if you're not sure, you can always ask someone else that's more experienced or just give it a try. You know, you're going to have some wins and some failures, but you don't know until you try. So uh, that's a really easy one to look at. Just make sure that you are looking for your view to see um, how much fabric is needed. Make sure you, you are getting your measurements corrected. And then also another thing I want to look for is the notions that are needed. There are no notions that's needed in this fabric. It looks like all that's needed is fabric and thread. That's it. So that makes for a really, really easy sew. Now the next one I want to show you is also another quick sew pattern. And this is pattern number K3870. This is like a tunic top. And what I like about this is the fact that it is a tunic top because I love to wear these type of uh, things. They're really, really comfortable, kind of carefree. You can dress them up, dress them down. Uh, you can do this in the three quarter length sleeve or you can do this in a shorter sleeve if you choose to. Um, you can even stop that sleeve at the elbow if that's what you like. You can do this either just a full coverage or with like a little slit in the middle. And you you can even put this sleeve on here and still have that look if that's what you choose to do. Another thing I like about it is that you have your slits on the side there. So you can wear this with like some jeans or some leggings and um, just really, really cute, um, simple little tunic top. Uh, here are your line drawings. Nothing spectacular, uh, but very simple and easy to do. That's your uh, back and that's your back of view A and B. And you can see the front on the front of the pattern itself. Now, the fabrics that it calls for is lightweight woven fabrics. Suggested is like cotton, cotton types, lawn, batiste, chambray, chalice, and calico. Um, I could also see like a lightweight denim. 
being made in this if you choose to. So just to kind of give you some ideas, even a linen would be a really cute, um, uh, make a cute top out of this. So that is your Quick Sew 3870. The next one that I really, really like is McCall 7721. And uh, I've actually made View C in this. And you guys, it only called for four pieces uh, to make this sweater. Now, I sh I'm showing this, although I know that we're getting ready to go into the spring and summer months, just because this might call for like a knit fabric, it doesn't always have to be a heavy knit. You can use a lightweight knit fabric for this. And then look at all of the different views that you can choose from. This is, I mean, perfect for spring, the, the sleeve lengths and everything. And then, you know, you could do your light weight if you like to wear long sleeves in the spring or summer or whatever so um, on the back you get your line drawings you see all of these really cute views this is one of my patterns that I will most likely make all of the views in the pattern itself because I just like this top so much and it's such a quick and easy make I after cutting this I could probably throw this together in about an hour or less it's that simple you guys and uh, your fabrics that you're needed you have your knit guide up here so that's kind of an indicator that that um, is gonna call for knits, you guys. So your moderate stretch knits, like, like cotton knits, interlock, and French terry. And uh, no notions, no notions for this. No buttons, no zippers, just your fabric and your thread is all that's needed for this one. Now the next one I just thought was so cute, and this is McCall's 8063. And I actually got this pattern for these right here. How cute are those? Um, you have your drawstring at the waist, and then you have your uh, gathering. You just put, sew your buttons on the side and uh, just follow the instruction to put your tabs to be able to connect your buttons, you guys. How cute are those? Um, we call them capris now. They, they've they been called so many different things, knickers and everything, and <laughs> I just, short pants, you know, if that's what you wanna call them. You can make um, uh, shorts out of this, you can make pants out of this, whatever you choose to do. And it shows you here that it has a patch pocket that you can choose to make it with or just leave it off altogether, you guys. Uh, this book calls pattern is a level one, learn to sew. So that goes to show you that it's definitely for beginners, very easy to do. On the back, you have a long list of uh, line drawings here. You have uh, pockets on the front, pockets on the back. Uh, me personally, I don't care for pockets on the back, so I would probably leave those off. Uh, pockets on the front, I'm all for it. You know, you could do your capris out of that. You could do your longer pants out of that. I mean, you could just do so many things with this particular pattern. Now, you do have a few notions with this, but it does call for fabrics such as your medium weight woven fabrics, such as cotton blend, linen, chambray, and chalice, and denim. Uh, very lightweight fabrics, no knit. I would say that if it does not call for a knit fabric, you probably won't want to use that because the snapback of that knit can make the fitting off once you finish your piece. Now, the notions, uh, with a pattern like this, you kind of have to look at each view to see what is needed. Like for instance, view C is the only one, view C and D are the only ones that call for two buttons. The other ones, they call for that twill or ribbon and that's basically for your drawstring at the waist. So uh, just pay really close attention, you know, to your patterns when you're looking at things like notions and things like that, but it doesn't call for a lot, you guys. So it's very easy to put together. Now the next one I'm gonna show you is McCall 7991. Very, very cute little knit dress. You can um, uh, make it with the three quarter length sleeve here. You can make it without the sleeves. It's kind of reminds me like of a really cute either summer dress or after five dress that you can dress up. Um, or you can make it with the long sleeves. You have a wrap, kind of like a wrap top style, a mock wrap bodice. And then you have your different bottoms that you can put on and you can kind of switch your, your bodice out with your different uh, bottoms of skirts there that you choose to very easy this is a mccall's learn to sew for fun so it goes to show you it's a pattern that's designed for the beginner so um i mean they just make it really easy to look for if you're just kind of learning how to sew um this is requires cotton knits interlock rib knits or sweater knits and then like i said once again if it has that guide you know that this is a pattern that is going to be for a knit here are your line drawings to show you how to give you more of detail of what these look like in the front and in the back 
Now, the next one I want to show you is a simplicity pattern. This is pattern number 1165. These are pants and shorts. Really simple, you guys. Um, I definitely am going to be making several of these, you know, just to have some casual pants in my wardrobe. You can do these shorts with like the little pom-pom trimming, or you can even do Bermuda shorts out of these. You can do so many different things uh, with these patterns. You can um, change up your fabrics at the bottom of these, you know, kind of make them more stylish to your liking. Um, like I said, as you can see, easy to sew. Look for those things if you are a beginner. Uh, you have your line drawings here. You have your pockets on the back. Uh, you have your elastic waist that shows you that that's what it calls for. Now, when we talk about the fabrics that's needed, there are several fabrics that options that you can use for this. Uh, it is not made for knits, you guys. Uh, but, you know, for instance, you have like your gauze, your gingham, uh, your linen types, uh, your silky types. I could also see like a lightweight denim, you know, for these um, if you like that. And then for your notions... And trims, if you choose to, you of course, you're going to need your thread. And then you are going to need elastic because as you can see, they all have elastic at the waist. So what you want to pay close attention to is the width of the elastic that you need because the pattern is made for that width of the elastic. Now, um, if you want that extra, that little pom-pom uh, look of, of those shorts, it tells you in view D that you're gonna need that uh, pom-pom trim, the, the wide yarn pom-pom trim there. So just look at those things, look at those tiny little details because they do make a difference, you guys, they really do. So that is another one, have a couple of more to show you. I love this one because you have so many to choose from. This is Simplicity 8557. At the bottom, it tells you that it's easy to sew. You guys, look at all the different things. This is almost like a little mini wardrobe within itself, okay? You have so many different options of what you can do. So you have your pieces down here. You have a long tunic top. You have a shorter tunic top with like a, the, the high-low look there. You have your pants or your capris. Uh, because these are easy to lengthen. Just add the length that you want at the bottom if you choose to. You have a sleeveless top here, kind of like a, a tank. And then you have a cardigan that you can do if you choose to. So you have so many different pieces. I like this because it can be made for pretty much any season. Um, you can use a heavier knit. Uh, for you know for like the fall and winter or you can use a lighter weight knit if you want to wear uh, something like this in the spring and summer uh, you do have all of your line drawings here that shows you the different views that you can do and then of course you have your fabrics that it calls for like your double knit your jersey your spandex blends even stretch velvet you guys how cute would uh, these these tops looking uh, the tunic tops looking a stretch velvet then you have your notions you're gonna need the elastic Elastic for view A because view A are the pants. They call for elastic in the waist. Uh, view B, C, and D calls for um, a wide single fold bias tape uh, for, for stability, I'm pretty sure, in the neckline. So you're going to need that. Not hard to put in. That is what following the instructions is for to show you how to do that. So um, yeah, that is just, this is one of those all around patterns that you'll probably keep forever and be able to go back to time and time again. And the last one that I want to show you is Simplicity 9011. It is also an easy to sew pattern. And the reason why I'm showing you this because you're seeing a long sleeve knit dress. <laughs> However, don't forget I said there are different weights of knits. You can easily use a lightweight knit in this. You can shorten those sleeves a little bit if you want to, but you have all of these different views that you can uh, use. I love this one and I love this one. And um, I, I like the one that she has on too. It's just carefree and easy, you guys. You can put on your little sandal heels with it if you want. So many different things you can do. And as you can see, these are your line drawings right here. Only thing that's the big difference are the sleeves and then the length that you may want. Totally up to you. However, your knits, you want to pay close attention when you're dealing with a dress, something like this. As you can see, this fits her loosely. So you don't want anything with too much of a uh, snapback because it may 
not come out right you know after we may have too much fit to and you not get the look that you're looking for so it tells you the type of knits that you can use uh bamboo jersey ity modal um rib knit you know uh basically just be sure to use your guide make sure that you can stretch it from here to here to make sure that it has the amount of stretch that you need because if it doesn't go that far you guys it's not going to be right for that pattern so pay close attention to that because a lot of your beginner patterns does include knits um your notions that's needed is elastic your 3 8 inch wide elastic and it tells you how much of that you need why do you need that because if you're going to make view c you're going to want to gather that at the bottom with your elastic very easy other than that all of the other views all you need is your thread and your fabric so that's it that's all of the patterns that i have to show you i hope that you have enjoyed these uh be sure to take note of these if you like them if not you guys, you can choose your own patterns, but you kind of have an idea of what to look for if you are a beginner. So be sure to subscribe if you have not. Be sure to share this video and turn your notifications on for the next one. And I will see you all soon. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.